So as you can see behind me, I love collecting physical media, specifically horror, VHS, and DVDs. This is my horror VHS collection right here. You can't see the whole thing, but it's pretty extensive and growing. And then I'm also working on my horror DVD collection, which is pretty extensive as well. So I want to take you guys with me to where I usually look for physical media, which is basically just thrift stores, Goodwill. I love to check out what they got. Let's go check out the thrift store and we'll meet back up here. I don't know what just happened. I literally think somebody donated their whole horror DVD collection to the thrift store and I got the whole thing because I just got the most massive horror DVD haul. And this is all from one thrift store. Oh, and also one VHS as well. But it's mostly DVDs and they're all horror. Let's go through all of them. First up, I got Blade on VHS. A half mortal, half immortal is out to avenge his mother's death and rid the world of vampires. One of my favorites. Love the blood rape scene. Halloween, the original Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis. Halloween, 1978, convicted killer Michael Myers steals a car and escapes, returning to his hometown of Haddonfield, Illinois, where he looks for his next victims. John Carpenter's Halloween on DVD. The rest of them are all gonna be on DVD. Love this one. The remake of Texas Chainsaw. A young woman named Heather learns that she has inherited Texas property from an unknown relative and she is unaware of the horrors that await. The original Texas Chainsaw from the 70s is one of my favorite horror movies, so. Had to add it to the collection. The skeleton key from the early 2000s. Caroline quits her job at a hospice to work for an elderly woman. When she begins to explore the rundown Bayou Mansion, she discovers strange artifacts and learns the house has a mysterious past. This was one of the first horror movies I remember seeing in the theater with my friends, so I definitely have to rewatch it and see if it still holds up. Queen of the Damned. Follows the legendary vampire Lestat who has reinvented himself as a rock star. His music wakes Akasha, the queen of all vampires. Her malevolent power is so great that all the immortal vampires must stand against her if they want to survive. Iconic. One of my favorite movies. Cabin fever. College students vacationing in the mountains mistakenly shoot a local man with a skin infection. The French struggle to stop the contagious flesh eating disease. I don't know if I've seen this one. Definitely gonna have to check it out. I feel like it's definitely the vibe of the types of horror movies that I like. John Carpenter's Christine. Unpopular nerd Arnie Cunningham buys a 1958 Plymouth Fury, which he names Christine. Arnie develops an unhealthy obsession with the car, and after a bully defaces Christine, the auto restores itself to perfect condition and begins killing off Buddy and his friends. I haven't seen this one yet either but it's a John Carpenter film so probably gonna be really good. Saw, the original Saw, the first Saw movie. Two men regain consciousness while chained to pipes. Then as the two men realize they've been trapped by a sadistic killer named Jigsaw, they must complete his perverse puzzle to live. Has to be in my collection. Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. Teenagers begin having the same dream of a horribly disfigured man named Freddy. The only escape is to wake up. But the original Nightmare on Elm Street from the 80s, one of my favorites, so I wanted to add this one to my collection. There's a lot of remake movies in this collection, but I love it. And I also like how it says rental at the bottom. I just think that's cool. 13 Ghosts. A family inherits a spectacular old house from an eccentric uncle, but they realize that there's powerful and vengeful entities that threaten to annihilate anyone in their path. This movie, I've heard so many good things about, so I had to grab this one and add it to my collection. And I know once I watch it, it's probably going to become one of my favorites. I'm excited for that. Silent Hill. On the way to take her dying daughter to a faith healer, the pair drive through a portal in reality leading to an eerie town called Silent Hill. The town is surrounded by a potent darkness and the human survivors fight a losing battle against it. Love this. I also recently got the game, the PS2 game, thrifted as well. Poltergeist, the original Poltergeist. Strange and creepy happenings beset a California family when ghosts commune with them through the television set. I love this movie. I love horror movies that have to do with like old TVs and the static on the TV. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like The Ring. I love this one. Gremlins. A salesman is looking for a special gift for his son and the shopkeeper is reluctant to sell him the mogwai but sells it to him with the warning to never expose him to bright light water or to feed him after midnight. This one is a classic. Love the little gizmo on the front. This is a twofer. It's Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers 2. After making a horrific discovery in the basement of an old abandoned church, Trish and her brother Derry watch their routine road trip home from college turn into a heart-stopping race for their lives. The original Jeepers Creepers. I love that one. Dark Ride. Ten years have passed since the murder of two teenage girls by a psychopath named Jonah. He escapes from the mental institution and returns to his old haunt and amusement park with an attraction called Dark Ride. I haven't seen this one yet either, but when I looked at the back, it kind of reminded me of House of a Thousand Corpses 
Horses, which is one of my favorite horror movies. It has to do with like a theme park attraction, which is also giving me Terrifier 2 vibes. So, leprechaun 1, 2, and 3. Dan O'Grady steals 100 gold coins from a leprechaun while on vacation in Ireland. Ten years later, the leprechaun he goes on a murderous rampage to reclaim his gold. And the first one is one of Jennifer Aniston's first movie roles. The Omen. A new age of evil threatens to arise when an American diplomat and his wife learn that the child they adopted may be the son of Satan. Mystical signs point to the Antichrist's coming battle for dominion over heaven and earth. Love this. House 2. A man and his friend exhume an ancestor in the house where his parents were killed. I've never seen this and I wasn't really familiar with it. On the inside it has this little insert that just looks so cool to me. Like that would look so cool on a big poster. Another John Carpenter. It's John Carpenter's Vampires. Jack Crow has one purpose in life, putting stakes through vampires' hearts. With his battle-hardened crew of vampire killers and assistance from the Catholic Church, they roam New Mexico deserts looking for undead lairs to annihilate. Also heard really good things about this one. I'm excited to add that one to my collection. Shudder, another early 2000s horror classic. Photographer Ben and his wife turn their honeymoon into a working vacation. As they make their way up a mountain road at night, they slam into a woman who suddenly appears in their path. Soon, eerie reminders of the accident emerge when Ben sees ghostly images in the photographs he develops. In the vein of the ring and the grudge, this one was made to kind of go along with that whole thing. Panic Room, another classic, Jodie Foster and Kristen Stewart. Trapped in their New York Brownstones panic room, a hidden chamber built as a sanctuary in the event of break-ins, Meg Altman and her young daughter Sarah play a deadly game of cat and mouse with three intruders doing a brutal home invasion. I love the coloring on this casing, that blue color. That just reminds me of like early 2000s horror. The Lost Boys, another vampire classic. Teenage brothers Michael and Sam move in with their mother to a small town. The angst-ridden Michael soon falls for Star, who turns out to be enthralled to David, the leader of a local gang of vampires. I love this one. And Stephen King's Sometimes They Come Back. High school teacher Jim returns to his hometown to pursue a job. Jim is haunted by the memory of his brother being murdered by a group of teenagers. He finds that the teenagers have returned to town as they appeared before they died. When his students start dying off, Jim becomes the prime suspect. I've never seen this one. I really like the cover. The babysitter. A 12-year-old Cole finds out his beloved babysitter belongs to a murderous satanic cult of teens. Cole must put his crush for his babysitter aside and escape their grasp before they sacrifice him for personal gain. This was a Netflix movie. I don't know, I just think it's cool to have Netflix movies in physical form. Dark City, this is from the director of The Crow. John awakens alone in a strange hotel to find that he's wanted for a series of brutal murders. The problem is that he can't remember whether he committed the murders or not. He seeks to unravel the twisted riddle of his identity. I don't think this is exactly a horror movie, but it sounded really interesting. So, Drive-In Cult Classics, an eight movie collection. I'm not sure if they're all horror. Some of them might be horror, but some of them might not be, but I just really liked that cover. And yeah, that was the haul that I picked up on this thrift trip. I got 25 DVDs and one VHS. These were all $1.29 each for the DVDs and $1 for the VHS. A really good haul. Just looking down the sides of these at all of the names, it just looks so cool. These are gonna be so cool to add to my horror shelf, my horror collection of movies. Just look at all the names. So many classics and so many iconic movies in this. Make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna be doing a video really soon showing you guys my horror VHS collection as well as my horror DVD collection. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.